Hi Iris. This is your Love and Relationship Tarot Card Readings by M for the month of March 2020. Okay, it's a lot pre-shuffle. Let's just start. So, four cards in the middle and it's a Justice card first for you. And then is the Strength card. Nice. And then King of Wands, that's you. Mm, a fire. King. And King of Swords. Influencing energy for you this month is Queen of Wands. Lovely. It's a couple's energy. Yeah. Beautiful. Both of it, it's Aryan fire energy. I love Queen of Wands. King of Wands also. It's a, it's one entrepreneur. You know, that one is hard-working guy. It just get job done. Queen of Wands though has an influencing energy into this month. It tells me that everything is friendly. Look at this person. Look at this fire and light that comes from this person. It's enlightenment in here. It's it's one of your best friends, like you guys are best friends, like uh, uh, um, um, you're helping each other, you stand for each other, intuitively understand another. Lovely, lovely energy for influencing energy for this month. Okay, let's just go further. Now, Eight of Roads. paired with a justice card or rod and then the magician is paired with a strength card and the king of wands is paired with the knight of swords okay and then king of swords is paired with the queen of roads again nice all right influencing energy let me just put it on the side is the hermit card you want to be wise this month, eh? some things to think about, or you've done it already. This is influencing energy. Perhaps you searched something that was really deep and it was meaningful for you, very meaningful for you, something that you had to understand for yourself. Let me just pull the top cards. Okay, then the Justice card is paired with a chariot here yeah. and then the strain card is paired with ten of swords now king of wands is paired with the full card on top and the king of swords is paired with knight of pentacles Influencing energy, Ace of Swords on top. All right. Let me, I would like to go through first with the bottom cards, which actually represents you. As I said, the Hermit card down there tells me, Aries, that you really had a moment for yourself. Something was around you that was difficult for you to comprehend, and you needed some time to pull uh, your strength within and to understand what is going on exactly there. What's around you, what the situation, some, some situation was difficult because if you have the her Hermit card, some situation was really, really difficult. Particularly, I, I see the Strength card in, the, in, in between here as well. It says very similar thing, in, particularly in the love and relationship readings, you know, um, patience, uh, understanding, uh, um, care, you know things like that you with the hermit card you did that for yourself you needed some care for yourself a little bit to think of you think of yourself about yourself about the situation around you and then i see the eight of roads down there like first week this month the magician knight of swords and queen of roads eight of roads 
energy that comes so quickly. It's a swift energy, uh, um, um, lots of communication, exchanging emails, telephone calls, information coming quickly, quickly. Situation also can be just some situation just appear in front of you, just suddenly you have to deal with something unprepared, uh, um, unexpectedly. You know, and it's kind of, it's not a small thing, you know, it, it comes as a big deal, that is, you have to deal with something. Uh, maybe something legal, you see this justice card, down there I have this, um, what's the name, a chariot, maybe something legal, but could be, because we do have chariot on top, with this person, both of these cards are travel cards. Now, perhaps you people planning to travel somewhere. Um, is it planning there or you have to go for some reason because it's a justice in between. It can be that you have to balance your ideas about where to go or being calm and collected with it. Not to, not to panic too much. Many people are, you know, travel uh, uh, makes the relationship up, uh, people a bit edgy and it can uh, uh, interrupt the relationship. Um, definitely travel can do that um, and could be in your case that this first week of uh, uh, March is actually case for you with the justice card in between but as I say justice card is a middle energy and it tells me it is balanced between you even if you have to travel even if it's something overseas there is balance between you people it's all agreement. There's not that there's no disagreement about it. You both understand what has to be. Travel or sudden situation to be dealt with, whatever it is, it's agreement between you people. Now I love this magician in your side. And I do have magician for I don't know for how long, uh, for more than a month now coming for Aries in every single reading it, and it's unbelievable this magician and I know it is a starting point it is a feeling mostly feeling about yourself something that you begin to develop perhaps is not manifesting yet or uh, maybe for some of you it's maybe even manifesting but magician is that um, energy of your mind that mercurial that uh, certainty uh, uh, about your ideas that understanding that you can do anything that you've got all the tools here at your disposal and you can do anything you like you can manifest in the world outer world with whatever you want now the strength card is in between and the top one is ten of swords now this person somehow got into these difficulties. This is Ten of Swords card on top tells me this person did have difficulties completing something that was really tough on this person. Maybe this before this traveling, maybe uh, um, you have to resign from some work or somehow, but some difficulties in the, or you did have it into your, in your relationship. But there was something, there was something that this person is supposed to deal with. The strength card in between tells me that you both are dealing with it, caring for each other. Like after justice card, some, some kind of you guys are so, so caring, you, you uh, um, kind of you love each other. This isn't that passionate love, that excitement. No, but it's so much of caring in here. Uh, uh, you know, this person, you will help the person. Person will be there for you with all difficulties. Doesn't matter, it will take all. The strength card in between, that what is for you and the justice, it's a lot of understandings here. And, and as I said, very similar, similar energy understanding each other in a balanced way, mental process and then emotional 
And then also emotional process, something where you guys meet in here, understanding each other, having strength to help each other through any situation. In this case, I think you, Aries, are helping your partner, whatever it is. This could be maybe business. It could be uh, uh, people around. This Any worries, anything that comes there. But it's over and you're helping to get through that what was very, very really difficult ten of swords it tells you it's some, it was something really difficult though in another deck not in this one but in another deck we can see that little horizon down there promising you know uh, um, new day is coming you know it's over with this darkness that it's finished this is completing the situation you're helping this person passing these difficulties strain card in between tells me your relationship at this point, at this half a month, is so balanced, so you so care, you so caring, being about each other. But um, some some kind of a tough situation for for uh, this um, for person and um, for your partner or uh, that's significant or not on another side. Anyway, anyway, let's move on. Now, further, we have this king of wands in between. As I said, it's your energy. And it tells me this is you dominant in here. You are dominant with your ideas, with your work. Now, knight of swords, it's charging. This is energy charging forward with communication, with the uh, ideas. Because we do have, don't, don't uh, uh, forget, we do have ace of swords in here. Something new is coming. That brand new potential potential to do something uh, um, brilliant, something that is true, something that has to succeed. Perhaps this, your partner is completing some type of work and, and it's ready to uh, uh, go with, uh, um, with something that is brand new because I see this full card on top. After all these difficulties that you guys been there uh, around mid month, mid mid uh, uh, March, this four card on top it tells me this person is suddenly so optimistic. I mean the chariot card is also a winning card. That's winning energy, competitive energy. Now the fool in here it tells me it's being enthusiastic, being ambitious, uh, believing in, in yourself, whatever is coming your way, doesn't matter what it is, taking risk in whatever business, dealings, doesn't matter. This full card in relationship can go either way. But the king of wands in between, everything tells me that you people are related this month with, with some project, with the, some uh, new ideas about maybe business, about career, about something that you have, like you, you like you building some something that is a career for both of you, something that is a, a business, or you're working in a similar industries, something like that comes here because you're helping each other so much, like you cannot go through your uh, um, whatever that's that's in front of you without another. You see, the skin of wants it's your energy and it tells me that you will be dominant, not this fool on top. Even if it's major arcana day, this person with the energy of a fool card uh, um, is uh, um, something overly optimistic. But you are there to say, okay, this is uh, your energy of having making decisions this is knight of swords mental energy charging making decision deciding which way to go and the king of wands your energy there telling you this way it will be done in this manner this is step by step process how things is going to be done the person across view is just so enthusiastic so trusting it's just so much in your judgment and that you will do whatever needs to be done, so you know for 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 uh, um, for this person. That you will be that one who's going to do everything. The another person is just carefree there, 
You're so caring. You're making decisions. You know exactly how to do that and you're doing it. And you're doing it. He says, your partner is it's just carefree. So trusting at this point. Trust so much in you. Put your life in your hands. Now, I see this uh, Knight of Pentacles. It's a slow energy, but this energy is stable and it's a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo person perhaps, but it's a stable, slow, steady, stable energy, still a lot to learn with this uh, um, uh, Knight of Pentacles. But it's uh, after the full card, it comes uh, um, um, as a bonus here. You know, to stabilize this energy. Because this energy needs something uh, uh, to stabilize, to put it on the ground. A knight of, of uh, pentacles is just the right one. That's the right energy. Slow down, be solid, steady, heavy, in one place. And see the way you go. More grinding than uh, uh, rushing or doing quickly. Or You know, it's like a more go into the into your work, into relationship, more slowly, more learning with another person, but also very passionate, very technical, you know, uh, like to uh, uh, do any, any, any job that is in front of this person, it will do, this one will learn, slowly but surely, it will learn, you know, experience, knowledge, that energy is lovely to have after this full card. It seems that you are all these months, like almost to the end of this month, you are busy helping this person go through some closing down, closing down some very unpleasant moments and going through with this brilliant idea for this person. Is this person that had this idea or somebody told him, somebody offered it to, to this person? But you are putting all your energy into this person to help it to go through and to stabilize itself. Now, at the bottom I see you as a queen of rods. It's also Aries energy, fire, Aries energy. Same as the major arcana, um, um, I'm sorry, um, main energy for the month, influencing energy for the, uh, in the middle. It tells me very dominant, as I said, Queen of Rhodes, it's Aries, Sagittarius or Leo, it's your fire energy, beautiful energy of a good, proper friend, honest, one who understands you, uh, one who intuitively see what is to be done, what is to be said, uh, not even uh, um, um, discussing much, just doing it for another, caring, knowing exactly what is needed to be done. That's your energy. And as I said, I really see you this month. You're all about helping another. You want to help your partner. It could be your business partner. It's, it's your love partner or both. It doesn't matter. It's another person that you care about and you care so dearly about this person. Now, this King of Swords, after King of Wands, it's this mental energy, this certainty, this logic, understanding, I've done it right. I know exactly how it's going to be. Because this person is now very stable. It will go. Now you know exactly what you've done. This person, you can now let it be. It can go with that idea, with that Ace of Swords idea. Now from here, from end of March. Thanks to you. And you're very happy about it. And you, you're not bragging about it. This, this queen doesn't, this energy doesn't brag. It's just happy to help. Just happy to help. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lovely, lovely. Um, it's a more relationship readings here for you, Aries. Um, as I said, it, it is love, but in, a, in that deeper, more comprehensive um, way than just love of excitement and uh, uh, being in love with another and uh, something like that. This is really serious. <laughs> I hope that you're going to enjoy it. <laughs>